what happens when you complete the Sinnoh Pokedex in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. So, what do you get rewarded with if you complete the Sinnoh Dex in PDSP? Well, let's take a look at that, shall we? So, a piece of fact, by the way, to start with, you guys can actually complete the Sinnoh Pokedex in Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl without actually trading with anyone that has the opposite games as you. And this is only possible because the game includes battles that feature all the Pokemon that you need to see to complete the full Pokedex, which is about 150 Pokemon. But let's start with the Sinnoh Dex, shall we? So, you have completed your Pokedex. Well, next you gotta head over to Professor Rowan's lab. Once you're here, you gotta have a chat with him. So as we show him our 150 encounter Pokemon, a cutscene will play where Professor Oak, yes, Professor Oak enters the lab. He will show you, have a kind of a short conversation with Rowan and also a conversation with you telling you about the Romanus Park, which is a brand new location that after you complete the Pokedex and the post game, AKA completed the Elite Four, etc., should be unlocked fully for you. You can go there and enter it. Inside of the Romanus Park, there will be legendary Pokemon, Pokemon that you can encounter like Great Quasar, Mewtwo, etc. and some exclusives between the two games. Some of the other things you will be rewarded with, for example, is this. If you go over to the Romanus Park, which is where the Pal Park was located before, if you go there, you will actually be rewarded with a chain counter from Oak when you enter Romanus Park. And also, once you go into Romanus Park, you can go and hunt for legendary Pokemon and things of that nature. But that's not all. Talking to Oak, he will also tell you that new Pokemon have been shown in the Grand Underground. So the Grand Underground will now be expanded and actually feature Pokemon from all the way from Generation 1 up to Generation 4, including even the starters from Gen 1, 2, 3, and 4. So yeah, you can get all the starters in the Underground after completing the Sinnoh Pokedex. However, what do you get rewarded with from our boy, Rowan. Well, first of all, your Pokedex gets upgraded to a national dex by Oak, and then also, Rowan hands you something very nice. He gives you the Pokey Radar. Now, this item is very important. If you do have the Pokey Radar, it is super useful because if you have it, you can head over to any of the routes and you can start shiny hunting. You can do radar hunting, which is really useful and one of the best methods. Now, it has been a bit nerfed in this game. It's not as useful. And if you have the shiny charm, so far, it doesn't seem like it has any effect on it. If it does, I'll do an update in the future about shiny hunting methods. Another thing you get rewarded with if you actually complete the Pokedex is that you can now go and rematch a bunch of the gym leaders. So this happens after you exit the Rowan's lab. Now you've exited it, guess what? You will have actually Roark show up and he will tell you, hey, the gym leaders heard that you became the champion and they all wanna have another go at you. So you can go and rebattle them and you can do this actually twice. And both times their teams will be much stronger and different somewhat. So definitely do that if you wanna have a nice post game experience. Another thing that actually opens up after you've completed the Sinnoh decks and post game and whatnot is the battle tower. Yes, the battle tower opens up where you can go to and take on multiple challenges and climb higher and higher. At the end of it, finding Palmer. Of course, Palmer is the father of Barry and a guy that you definitely want to battle if you wanna have a great old time. Another few things that actually unlock is the resort area survival area as well as the fight area. So those two unlock as well. If you completed the Sinnoh Pokedex, you can head over to the Valor Lake front. If you go over there, you will actually find this house at the top of the kind of area. If you go there, it's a hotel room that will have three characters in it. Now, one of those characters will not have been there in the original version of the game. So if you haven't patched it, you won't see him. But one of them is a guy with a guitar. If you talk to him, he is the sound designer of the game and he will reward you with DS Sound, which is an app used to play the old school DS sounds this can be done if you just completed and defeated the champion, otherwise you won't be able to get this. However, if you talk to guy with the Gengar, he will reward you with the catching charm for completing the Sinnoh Pokedex, so that is pretty awesome. The guy next to him looks oddly similar to Masuda and even has a Psyduck next to him, which we know is Masuda's favorite Pokemon. Hmm, but if you talk to him, he will reward you with a certificate. Yes, he will give you the certificate, which we all receive whenever we finish a Pokedex for the most part. So you'll be rewarded with that option right there. So it's pretty awesome. And if you do complete the National Dex, it is actually known that you can also get the Shiny Charm from the Masuda looking guy. So ladies and gentlemen, that's all the things that you get for completing the Sinnoh Pokedex in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. If you guys did enjoy the video, drop a like down below for a video about the National Dex. Once I get a video done on that, I'll post it for you all to have a look at. So that's that. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.